Hello everyone, Onyx here, Onyx, whatever you prefer to call me. Uh, uh, welcome to a new series I'm doing for Super Golf, a uh, Roblox golf game, one of the most popular in my opinion, and my personal favorite. But today we'll be all be introducing the new build mode they just introduced, where you can make your own maps, play other people's maps, and all that. So in today's video, I'll show you how to actually start making your own map and how to download, you know, how to download some other people's maps and play them yourself. Without further ado, how do you do this? So, you know, you join your private server or just a public server. You know, but if you want to actually play a custom map, you have to join a private server. So, to start, you go to build. Then, you know, you got all these here. You got feature, developer choice, all that. So, you can just press download. I already downloaded it, so it'll be this, but for now, I to this. You can, it's, it's this message. And you go here, and you can select the map, and begin. But, that's how you download a map. But, so if you want to create your own map, you go here, and you go, and you press enter the map builder. And once you get teleported, you'll have this screen here, except, you know, you'll have to make a new map. I have this one, which I'll show you guys right now. So this is my map, you know, just the base of it. For example, so I'll show you in this tutorial how to make maps like this and like better using like you know, all the basic features and all that. So if you want to make your own map, you go, you press new map, you can name it whatever. I'll name it two or you want. and you have the icon is whatever. I'll put mine as like a chest and template for this one. Do uh, swamp as an example. You can have the color. Maybe they can make it black or whatever, that's just that. You can edit however you want, I'll just put pink. And you'll get this screen here, where you'll get loaded in. And, you know, you're in a blank slate, pretty much. It just depends on how you to look, for like whatever base you do. And you can always go here if you want to, you know, edit it, if you want to go menu. Or redwood. Well, if you want to change it fast, but if you want to mainly change it, you can just do this. You go here, ambient, and then you can change the color of like the brightness. And then how you like change the ground and all that. And then you can also change the primary color of the sky. So if I want to be like this, the secondary color. Go here, and you can like, customize this all. In the bottom here, you have build, but we'll go into that in a minute. So you got terrain and all this. So you can just edit you know, how you want everything to look. So if I want to make everything like pink or whatever, you can change the color of the ground. Yeah. And then you can also change, for example, like hole one. You automatically upon that. So if I want to make the par seven, and then gameplay, this is how you select for your testing. And save and exit, pretty self-explanatory. You save it and exit to the back. But if you want to start building, you want to need some basic things here. So first, you know, find where your hole is. Because it will automatically make you a base hole. Like right here for me. Let's just assume you want to start from scratch. You know, you just want to grab all these. You can hold down to select them all. Like here you can press shift and then select. And then backspace. Okay. So now, once you do that, you have to have three key components for your hole. You can just spawn them from clicking. You need the spawn part here, the finish part, and the camera part. These are, you know, three base components you need to actually make a level. But here, let me just, you know, switch off of this one to get something a lot easier, you know, to look at. And there we go. I switch over the water template, you know, just make it look a lot nicer. But, you have all these. Spawn point is where you spawn. Finish point, you just have to place it where you want to end the level. And camera point, or you don't have to worry about that. You just have to place it, and that's where your camera will start at. But, if you actually want to start building your level, this is how you'll do it. And press here in the bottom build and then 
There's all these categories. Recent, it's what you've recently placed. Everything. Yeah, it's everything. Shapes, just basic shapes that are not textured. Course is what we'll start with, though. So, if I want to get, you know, the finish hole to start out with. Just so I can know where I want to have the end. And then, while you're at it, you can place the finish part right here. But I recommend, I personally always turn off these two settings. You have an angle that you can, like, rotate. Whatever. Like, and then the grid that it will place on. I also, I just purposely turn them off, personally. But it's always up to you. So, you can just spawn these in, and you can press R to rotate. If you know how to use Roblox Studio, then you should be pretty good at this. Since it uses mainly the same tools and controls. But you press on you know, one of the icons, like I've just done. Just wait a second, and then you can use the move tool right here to move it. Select tool, and click which one you want, and then resize tool. You can like make it bigger on like any X. If you want to make the bridge flat, so it's just like an easier flat piece. Or if you want to make it like big to where it's steep. Or if you want to make it narrow, or anything. However you'd like to do it. You can, but you can press Control Z to undo it, and then Control Shift Z to redo. You know, just the basic computer keybinds to redo and undo. But the final tool is rotate. You can, with this setting off, you can rotate. You know, a lot better. Instead of going like this, which makes for nicer shapes. If you want to have a specific angle, if you want to have like tilted a little bit. That's how you do this. You can always switch back to here anytime, and then it will snap back to here. But you might have, you might want to make a new piece though, since you know it goes off your original angle. But in that case, you can always do Control Z, and you're back to here. Mine's a little slanted, but that's okay. What you can do is you can. Merge it together, just make sure you try to connect it as good as you can. So then, you know, they can go across the course. So, for example, if I want... I mean, let me just get another piece here. But yeah, you have all these pieces you can explore with, build. It's a lot of infinite possibilities. So, if I go here... And what's a good piece? Start. Yeah, that's a good one for the start, I'd say. I go here, and then I just drag it down. Make sure it's leveled. And then boom, you will want to place your start piece here. Rotate it to whatever way you want to face. If you want to have you know, your camera facing that way, or this way. And you spawn your camera part. This is just the very basic of what you do. But you know, if you want to make it look a little bit better, of course, I'm just going to have to go back to the top. You can go here and give yourself a flag. And play test with the arrow there. You know, mine's a little off, but it's fine. You can go here. And depending on what piece you use, your course might be a bit harder. You, know, you can go this way. And then go into the hole. Boom. But always make sure you put your part down more, like into and stuff. And if you, you know, if you want to actually select it, you have to, you can go up here. Just make sure you have the correct thing. People have to actually fall in the hole. But to stop from going out of bounds, so if you're using the dimension theme, or like one that has, you know, no solid ground, such as dimension, what you want to do is here, go to mechanics. Sorry. What you want to do is go to advanced. And you'll want to get the respawn part. You can drag it down here. You can also do it for if you're doing water. You don't want them to get stuck in the water. But you do. Drag down. You put it below anywhere your course is. And you'll want to use the resize tool. And just stretch it out. Like this. If you do this now. Instead of hitting the water, you just get sent back. So now you won't have to worry about, you know, anybody just falling and getting stuck or, you know, 
where you just get sent back to the beginning if you do not have that. And as for the other sections here, you have nature, which is just more natural stuff. You want to put a palm tree like in the background. Buildings, same thing. It's just, you know, more building assets. Signs, this is how you can, you know, say what course you're on. It will, like, edit for every hole you do. So, if I rotate, you can rotate it any way you want. And then, once again, I have it on the axis right here. But if I want to, you know, rotate it like this, I'll grab the green circle. To find it, this of course this is way too big, so we'll want to resize it. Make sure the proportions don't. Oh, yes, to move this up. Make sure you grab onto it and move it over. See if you want it to be really lengthy like that, you can do that, but always make sure you know you scale it accordingly. But if you want to scale like this rather than like this, you can hold shift to scale it all at once. And control, you can do it to stretch it. So shift on your keyboard if you want to make it big like that. And then control if you just want to stretch it sideways. That's basically what you need to know if you want to make your own level. And then advanced, so this is just stuff, you know, it's just all the basic stuff you'll need. So if you want to jump or anything, which I'll show off in a later tutorial. But mainly, I'm going to make a new hole right here. Then you go here. This course. Just finish hole. And then you just do what you did for the first one. But, you know, you can customize it in any way that you'd like. But then, you know, when you're ready... To publish your hole, you can go to save and exit here. You can go to your hole, and then you can upload it here. Which I will show in a later tutorial, you know, how you can upload it so people can find it and everything. But if you all like this tutorial and this is helpful, uh, make sure to like and subscribe and I will be releasing more tutorials soon. So, uh, yeah, if you enjoyed, then, uh, hope you all have a good day, and, uh, if you guys want to send me your maps in the description, I might play those for a video or stream, but yeah, hope you all had a good day, stay safe, and, uh, goodbye, and out.